material losses report of your system now, ohmic losses ohmic losses matters a lot mm, give an example go uh, and sketch it down uh, uh, you can see uh, it automatically around loss no 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 i am not using any transformers so check oh just uh, give up assalamu alaikum welcome back to our third video of our series which is pv cyst series so uh, we have already discussed about the orientation and system and weather system and the other things too so let's go to the detail losses so detail losses matters a lot uh, if you want to get the exact uh, report of your system or the max you want to get probably maximum uh, uh, number of echo, uh, chances of accuracy you can adjust here so uh, this thermal we can uh, first we are in thermal parameter field thermal loss factor which will be around uh, wind factors or the loss factor so uh, let's say that constant loss factor is 20 and wind loss factor let's suppose i will say it will be in my case it will be around one because um, i'm not going to bother about that so uh, you can use that uh, default value count to mount it to mount the structure or other things too but in my case i'm going to use the uh, default one okay and now ohmic losses ohmic losses matters a lot so a uh, disruptive ohmic loss for the array specified by global resistance or loss fraction as stc so i'm going to use the detailed computation uh, now um, I have to mm, enter my uh, string module connection length and etc. So uh, in here, uh, in my case, one string 18 module, uh, string module connected. It's mean uh, um, how much uh, the length of the wire will cost to connect the strings. So in my case, I will go around. Um, let's pause let's pause let's pause let's pause let's pause it will be around it will be around around 10 meter will be fine and main box to inverter main box to inverter means uh, from the roof where we, we have connected all our uh, module strings and it will go down to our inverter so it will be around my uh, 90 meter okay you can uh, change this according to your uh, according to your requirement according to, uh, depending on your conditions so string module connection you can also uh, going to uh, calculate all your uh, let's suppose i will give an example to you let's suppose uh, you have multiple uh, module string connectors which is going to have a multiple according to size let's say one has 10 meter one has 30 meter and one has 50 meter one has 60 meter one have 20 meter so uh, by adding them you have a 170 answer let's suppose uh, in my case i have added five random numbers i will divide it by 34 and it will uh, you can add here a 34 number which is a, uh, around uh, average of the uh, string wires so from there you can calculate it and main box to inverter i have a 90 meter distance okay so please specify the total wire length for a structure sketch button so i'm going to go uh, i'm going to okay uh, parallel string uh, group of let's select the parallel string here uh, i have a 20 parallel string on 20 mppt uh, means uh, it's one it's first string it's second string third string fourth string and so on and it's just 21 things okay so minimize copper mass no i'm not going to go that with i'm going to parallel and i have to sketch it down wires so um here yeah. you can also add the prices of your uh, uh of your wires sorry my mistake of your wires i'm getting some confused 
because uh, I was not prepared for that. So uh, it's wire specific properties, section, uh, section uh, mm maximum current or you can add the like in my case I'm using the 4 mm wire and it will cost me around uh, 2 USD per meter okay uh, uh, no uh, not 2 USD it will be around 0 0.8 uh, dollars per meter according to me I'm going to use this uh, okay. uh, you can see uh, it automatically calculated the uh, losses let's suppose current ampere uh, 13.75 resistance 75 uh, milli ohm and uh, in the from the main box to inverter it will be 135 ampere which will have a resistance 34 milli ampere so it's a, it is a huge so i'm going to global array resistance milli ampere 20 strings which is going to 22 inverter so i have done with it the wiring layout and 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 and, and, and. okay okay i have done it i'm going to use the default value and use ac circuit ohmic value inverter to injection means uh, the ac wire i'm going to uh, connect uh, from my inverter to the my load so it will be around 5 meter for my side and loss flexion as stc stc stand for standard test conditions okay so i'm going to use around uh, 95 mm let's go for the 95 mm okay you can choose according to you and i'm going to use a copper wire if you're going to the, uh, use the aluminium, you can use the aluminium. I'm using the copper wire, so I'm going to use the, use the copper wire here. Use AC circuit. No, 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 no. It will be around 95 and it will be 5. Okay. All system per inverter. Uh, uh, yeah, per inverter will be the uh, 5 meter for my side. Use one or several MV transform. No, 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 no. I'm not using the MV transformers. So I'm good with that. I'm going to do, uh, select the module quality. Let's uh, give it by default, by default, light induced degradation, by default, by default, I'm not bothering over there. Soil uh, losses, I'm going to use the 1%. IM losses, uh, I'm not going to further detail, uh, I'm going to further discuss about it. Let's, let's give a, a quick overview to you. And it's an incident uh, angle modifier effect on you can see the IM losses as to uh, from sky. We have no data uh, about it, so just not uh, discuss about that. Thing. It's IM losses, losses on factor on beam and beam irradiance uh, irradiance distribution, and it's an effect on global. You can see the tilt. It's a panel tilt and IM loss annual yield will be around there. You can see. Okay, so as much will be panel tilt. No. And then will be the five. We have to have to do the five. And then will be five. I have to adjust it for the sake of my side. Okay, 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 okay. So here we go, and we will click the OK button. So let's check it out again. We have the panel tail okay it's five it is already four. okay so here we go uh, i'm done with this oh i have to save it I'm not saving it i'm just okay now save it yes save it now okay so auxiliary is uh, i will not going to bother about that thing aging yes aging depends a lot use is in simulation for simulator for number of years i will go for the 25 years as long as giving the 25 years uh, constant median power degradation so here we go keep stuck putting this match value no 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 zero okay 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 that's show this plot on the report yeah i'm going to show this report plot on the board. draw curve 
steps no, i'm going to use a curve yeah that will be great for my side linear no no so uh, i'm going to unavailability let's say uh, i'm going to use a default that's why and value time fraction is two percent like i have a, a, a grid failure uh, around uh, seven days or eight days in a year so it automatically calculated with that and value time fraction will be two percent and value duration will 7.30 means is 7 uh, and 30 uh, 7 uh, 7 days and around uh, you can see that six hours around that thing number of pairs will be three uh, set random you can select the random two here you can see it is changing the uh, factor um, if i'm going to use this and let's go to the june okay and let's go to the i'm going to use this and it is going to december 11 okay here we go and we go spectral use spectral correction and simulation we will use the according to the pv module technology okay so uh, from here we have done a lot of things we will just uh, give a quick view so a uh, pv array behavior for each loss effect you can see the temperature effect module quality loss which is 0 0.7 percent module mismatch 2 percent which is stc corner i am uh, module temperature which is 40 which is loss have 6.6 wiring resistance which is 21 maybe uh -huh. uh, serial dialog losses which is minimum so result uh, p maximum array will be 151 kilowatt global loss is equal to 9.9 percent irradiance width will be uh, 800 watt per meter scale incident angle will be 40 beam ambient temperature will 20 wind velocity will be 3 meter per second which is normal okay we're going to okay okay so uh, we have done with the detail detail losses now let's discuss about the other thing in, uh, in our next video uh, till then uh, take care Allah Hafiz